Hello everyone and welcome to San Diego Market Movers question of the week. Today we have Cece Summerfield. How's it going Cece? Going great. Yeah, so I have a question for you today. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Are cash offers king? Why or why not? Oh my gosh, that is such, I'm in limbo on that question to be honest. Um, I think in certain situations depending on the seller, cash can be king. It's just really a, a point of if the seller, what the seller's motivation is, you know. Uh, if the property is something they want to get moving quickly, they don't have an emotional attachment to it. They're just like, just give me whatever I can. I just want to get out of this property. Yes, cash is always going to be king. If it's say a client that maybe has lived in the property for a while and has some kind of emotional attachment to it and also sees what the market is doing and realizes that in 30 days or less, they could get you know a higher price than maybe a, a cash buyer would give, then I think in that case, you know, they're going to go with a, a um, offer with a loan, mm -hmm. with ma and also maybe somebody that is a family that they can they can see like feeling good about, um, you know, selling the home to a family that's going to actually live there. So, um, if you are competing with cash, I think that's a bigger question here in, in all of it is um, if you're competing with cash and you have a loan yourself, um, there's certain things that you can negotiate in the contract that may give you the upper hand on a cash offer. Mm -hmm. I mean, one obviously being a higher purchase price, you know, if you can do it. Um, other things that I've seen and that I've, I've used myself in negotiating is really either lowering the amount of days you have a loan contingency, which means that with the lender you're working with, the client needs to get not only pre-approved beforehand, but pre-underwritten basically, like a desktop underwriting. Right. So you don't have to absolutely need that um, the loan contingency. Now we could go into loan contingencies and all that, but I'm just going to say it's just make it shorter, as short as possible. Be a team member with your lender who you're working with and make sure um, you're all on the same page so that you're not putting your client at risk of losing their deposit once they do get into escrow with something. Right. Um, other things you can do to, to compete in, on the negotiations are removing the appraisal contingency. Now this is a big part where agents actually come into play and really need to uh, determine what the value is and what is realistic for a, sell, a buyer to pay for a property and make the offer at that price so that when you, again, remove that appraisal contingency, you don't have any fear of your clients losing their deposit. Mm -hmm. so, um, so yeah, I mean, there's definitely a negotiation that can happen. Sometimes, though, cash is king, like I said, like a client that, or a seller that just wants to get out of the property, doesn't care who, it's, who, they, who buys it, and is happy with the purchase price of the cash offer, which is generally a little bit less than the retail offer, um, you just you just walk away from that one and get on to the next one, right? Yeah, so it really <laughs> depends. It depends on the situation. Yeah, it really is situational. And, yeah, and what the seller's going through and things like that. So mm -hmm. don't be discouraged if you're a buyer and you don't want to, you know, you don't have mm -hmm. a cash offer. You do have options and you can come out stronger than someone that definitely, even has a cash offer. Definitely, yeah. and I, I have actually helped several people over the last year overcome uh, cash offers, you know, that have loans in place. And I think the key is, is preparing mm -hmm. first, you know, making sure Again, you know who you're working with as a lender, you can work as a team, uh, both for the, the buyer client, and uh, make sure you're setting them up for success. Yeah, working so, with the right agent, right, Cece? That's right, <laughs> work with the right agent, too. And, you know, I, I try to treat my clients like family and do everything I possibly can to set them up for success, and that's um, something that I, I run my business on, so. Well, I love that, and it's a huge deal when you're buying property. And yes, so it's, it's yes. a big investment, so having someone there on your side. Yes. And that's gonna take care of you throughout the process is. Exactly. What could, what more could you ask for? Exactly, and just always, I like to remind um, buyers, like, you know, you could, you could go through the listing agent, and some um, buyers think that that's a great idea, but we, as a buyer's agent, we work for you for free until we actually close the property. So we're committed to the process because mm -hmm. otherwise we don't we don't make a living. Yeah. You know? So um, it only it makes you know sense that we work all the way through and do the best possible job we can, so that you get what you want and we get what we want. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> that was CC Summerfield with San Diego Market Movers. Question of the week.